What's up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build. I was gone for Thanksgiving break so it just got parked here and left and we went away for a week and now I'm back for one week before I leave for another three. So it's super bad timing for getting anything done on this bus but I have a little bit of time today so I think I'm gonna do something. I posted on Instagram last night what I had thought as far as my idea for what I would work on today and that was removing the wheelchair lift that is in the back. This guy right here. When I posted that on Instagram, I got so many responses and everybody saying, no, don't take it out, keep it in there. There were some, uh, some pretty good ideas. Somebody suggested that I turn it into a fold out espresso bar. Another suggestion was to make it into a fold out shower porch, also a decent idea. Another friend said, what happens when I break both my legs and I'm bound to a wheelchair and I wanna ride in your bus? However, there's a lot of reasons why I'm deciding to take it out. Most of you haven't seen what it looks like inside when it's folded up, and man, is it bulky. It's a, just a ton of metal sitting there, so it's less use than you think it is. The second reason why I'm gonna take it out is because I came in the other day to check it out, see how I was doing in the rain, and the door that is behind the lift doesn't seal quite perfectly. So when it rains, a little bit of water drips in, and so I cleaned it all up yesterday, but I want to take the lift out so that I can really get in and find where that seam is and figure out a way that I can keep it at least waterproof while I'm gone for the next month or so. Third reason why it's got to come out is because it's bolted to the floor and the floor has to come out. So everything's got to go at some point. Something that I am thinking about, especially coming off of all the suggestions from yesterday, is that this base, this base material here could be pretty solid and salvageable. Be able to use it for the, the big pullout drawer that I'm hoping to have coming out of this door. So I can take that whole big metal rack from the wheelchair lift over there and put some big slides on it and then it can be a big When I came out here yesterday and saw that there was some water inside, I put some towels down to soak up the water so that anything that came in today while it was raining wouldn't just be sitting around and pooling and soaking in everything. But let me, this is the towel that I put in there. It's pretty wet. That's the second time I've wrung it out. If we look right there, that's the top of a bolt. There's another one there, there's another one there, and then a couple along this front edge underneath this platform going along there. Those go to the underside of the bus. That is there, and there, there. Oh, that's bad news. That's connected to something else. And a couple right here in front of me. It's too dark, you can't see it, but they're there. Okay, now most of the weight isn't hanging up in the air, it's down on the ground. I don't want it to fall or, or hurt myself. Let's go find some tools. Let's grab a whole handful. Finally got all eight of those bolts out. If there's more mass outside and I start yanking on the cable, cranking it up, will it fold itself outwards? Solution number one. We're gonna try to build a little bit of a platform underneath it. We're gonna use a car jack to lift the base of the platform up so we can get a little bit better of an angle on the inside. Um, we'll see if it works. I tried relifting that main platform back up a little bit to get a different angle and it got better, but it didn't work. So we're on to solution two and which is gonna be starting to take apart the lift itself and 
disassemble it so it's not such a terrible, terrible shape. Whew. Time to find some Allen wrenches. So I finally was able to get the lift out. My girlfriend came and she was able to help me and take a few screws out here and there. We took it out in two pieces. The whole platform that was already outside the bus, we just unscrewed a couple joints and undid the cables and that stayed outside. The rest of it we rolled over inside and then slid it out the back back door. Here it is, part one. Part two. Now let me show you the inside and the kind of space that we freed up there. It used to be here and take up this entire plate space, right? From here all the way almost two feet inside the bus. It was this giant, giant piece that took up all that space. Um, as you can see underneath it, this is part mud, part rust. The bottom of the lift was rusted. Um, but that also means that water has been getting into those bolt holes. So underneath this rubber layer, there's going to be a little bit of plywood, pretty much subfloor kind of thing. And then under that is where we get the base of the bus. And it's going to be super key for, uh, for me to get under all these layers and start from the very base so that I know the quality of that service that we're working with. That's, I mean, ultimately that's why this thing's got to come out. That's why all the chairs have to come out because Part one of this whole process is stripping the bus. So it's gotta be completely out, everything gone, and then the build starts. So this was great, this was fun. I got super filthy, so I gotta go do laundry and take a shower immediately. But I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. This is part one of probably like 50 in the bus build series. If you get tired of it, let me know, or just don't watch. If you like it, also let me know. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm sorry to all of you in the Instagram comments that wanted to keep the lift. If you want a lift in your car, you know someone who has one now. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll be gone for Christmas break. I'll hopefully put up some vlogs of my adventures. But in the meantime, happy holidays. Enjoy your time with family. Good luck on finals. And we'll see you in the next one.